often asked why Future Ready? You know, where is Cedar Grove in this continuum of future readiness? Well, it's a great question. You know, for us, the Future Ready framework, the Future Ready New Jersey framework, uh, really has become a part of our strategic planning process uh, from where we are today to where we want to be tomorrow. And it's become a critical uh, launching point for, for us, first of all, to self-evaluate and self-assess where we are. And we think we're doing great things. Uh, well, how do we know that? Well, when we visit our schools, we visit our classrooms, uh, you think about the things that make Future Ready what it is. And it's, it's about a culture of collaboration, innovation, one that includes authentic learning. And we see these things here in Cedar Grove. And we see how they're supported by a culture where our staff is comfortable taking risks. And we've talked about that for years now even before the Future Ready Framework came into uh, our lives. You know, how do we establish a culture in our district that uh, pushes the innovation? We, and we thought it began with creating a culture of risk-taking. We think, I think, our staff feels comfortable taking risks, and we're proud of that. And so when Future Ready came along, we thought, you know, this really does align well with, with where we see our district going and the priorities the philosophies of Cedar Grove. And so it really was a great partnership for us to pursue this Future Ready framework. So we've, we've secured Future Ready certification at two of our schools, and we are thrilled to be using a similar framework to self-assess where we are at our other two schools. So we're going to submit that application, and we're confident we'll uh, get some great feedback and continue our good work of innovating and collaborating and empowering students and staff for future ready filled with promise. There's so many different ways that the children are able to use technology now and so there are different activities that the teacher can use through Google Classroom for example. They are able to do shared writing or modeled writing and then those pieces are there so they're memorialized. Um, back in the day when we had chalkboards and whiteboards, you would erase those things and they'd be gone forever. Whereas now with Google Classroom and the Google Drive, all of our documents that they're working on can continue to be a work in progress and they can go back and refer to those documents and do other kinds of work with them.